<laughs> it's Thursday night again. Welcome to the Blackboard. Um, the next our regularly scheduled meeting, and I call the meeting to order. It's about 6.02. Um, first thing is to set up the agenda. If anybody want to subtract anything from the agenda? Um, well, yes, but I don't know if we really need to do it as an adjustment, but Trails Committee is not going to present tonight, and that it's listed there, but they're just going to go at the next meeting. Yeah, so okay. ready. So I don't really think we need to do anything. No, and that's not really my fault. Um, Eric's fault. Okay. Noted. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, any other agenda things? All right, we're going to roll with the agenda as written. Communication with the audience. Anybody here for Ross? Yeah. Can you please state your name? Sure. Sorry right to stay here. Um, <laughs> come sit right over here. Yeah, there's a, there's a microphone right microphone. here. My name is Ross Connolly. I live here in the village. Um, I want to uh, just express concerns about the uh, rail trains, which I think is absolutely wonderful. I made a lot of use of it, and I think it's absolutely a boom to the area and to the city. Um, I uh, took many walks on the trails this past fall um, as it travels through the village and along the river. And as they say, I think it's that the wonderful condition uh, for those that are fortunate enough to live here. Uh, the number of people that are using the trail. In the village is increasing. Um, one evening, there were more than a dozen people out there um, riding bicycles, uh, walking, often with children and dogs. There was even one woman who was using the trail with her walker. Um, this past Sunday, I went out and walked about three miles from down to the bridge at the west end of town, turned around and all the way up to the bridge by Harder Building. And um, I was uh, surprised to see speed limit signs posted by VAS indicating that 35 miles an hour was the maximum speed uh, allowed on the trail. There were no lower speed signs uh, when it runs through the village. Yeah, even within feet of uh, the health center, town's garage, and the old railroad depot, you know, the home and part of the Starbucks site. Um, my home is on West Church Street, you know, in Paradise, the rail trail, and has a number of houses that are above the delta, and the streets posted at 20 miles per hour. And for the public safety perspective, 35 miles per hour is too fast a maximum speed limit to allow automobile traffic to go through the village. And um, the Lone Valley Rail Trail is a multi use trail all year. Snowville is traveling 20 to 35 miles an hour along section of the trail. For people that are common, it's going too fast. Pedestrians, bicyclists, people on cross country skis, or snow machines, or snow shoes, dog sledders, people on horseback have as much right to use the trail as snowmobilers. And snowmobiles bring a boost to the state's economy, which is good. Despite the <coughs> public safety, it is not be sacrificed for one room of trail music over another. And I'm going to send this statement um, to uh, Senator Kitchell, who's chair of the Appropriations Committee, and looks with pride on the fact that she helped um, free up get money for the rail trail. And to is it Jackie Cassini, Saturday? Cassino. Cassino, who I understand is the uh, manager for the project and the committee. Um, and I, I have this concern about public safety. And I don't know whether the board would be willing, but if so, I would, um, as a resident of Hardwick, would encourage the board to. Uh, um, express concerns about um, not having a lower speed limit when the, the rail trail goes through the village as a matter of public safety. 
So those are your thoughts. Thanks, Ross. I think, um, yeah, I hadn't really thought about it, but if you put it in that light of you know, traveling through the village and every, you know, we have slower speed limits for cars in the village. Um, it kind of makes sense. Um, who posted it? Who, who has authority over the state of Vermont? Doesn't know. Yeah, but the state of Vermont posts there, don't they? Well, it's, it's, the numbers is the state number. Right. For the whole trail, I think. The whole state. The whole trail. Uh, all rail trails. All rail trails. All rail trails in the whole state. That are traveled on by snowmobiles. No. Yeah. So the yeah. So that's the that's the, that's what it is through Morrisville. That's what it is through West Danville. That's what it is. Everywhere else where there's pedestrian, there's no buddies. That's why really this is the only place where this right. No, this is the concerns are real. Oh, trust me. Um. So I don't know. I don't know. But trying to talk about it. Nowhere else that I know of have they lower than in the village in the village, village site. How much like, effort does it put into that? Well, it's quite a bit of it coming from all the way from more silt than Jeff, but I'll put it in my state of the they still don't put it. Um, all around Joseph Collins, I was... It's like a good job. How much effort does it put into lower than speed of things? Through village. Like as anybody asked. Yeah. Well, yeah. so there's... I don't know. I don't believe there's been a great deal of effort. And, and I'm a this fellow bit owner. And this is here, like, full of all the sliders. I just wanted to comment that I know that I've been contacted by the governor's committee. I don't know. So you can go to the governor's safety committee of Sonville. Um, and they are very concerned about speeding on the rail trail. Um, hence the grants to local law enforcement and the state police yep. to patrol. Their their goal is to get out pretty hot and heavy at the beginning when the trails open up and to do some serious speed so, enforcement. So I think the effort, yeah, I know, I know, I'm slightly the limited. Is but the limit is 35. Yeah. So the, the effort is to get everyone to go 35. Right, because it doesn't matter if you're on West Church Street or if you're down on the other side of the Grand Union <laughs> on the rail trail, it's still most they use, there's still multiple people. So, there, there's no it's hard to put effort into bringing this down to 15 when we can't even get anybody down 35 several. Yeah, so I think right now the main effort is, is being concentrated on getting everyone to understand that 35 is the speed limit. Most of us that ride in village settings know. Just as we do with our automobiles, when you come into a village setting, you need to, you need to slow down, go up to a lobby, a nurse on, and so on. But I don't, don't, we're going to have law enforcement right here, right? On rail trail. So hopefully, I mean, I don't mind that, you know, I'm open to discussion of an effort to lower it, but I think we should need to. If we got everyone to go 35, we would be way ahead of the game than we were getting with six guys that could go. They would get the 50 is way too slow or 20 is way too slow. You know, would it be helpful? Can you hear me okay? Uh -huh. Would it be helpful in the, I, I, I hear what you're saying, Danny and, and Ross, but there's no harm in asking, right? What, like, if, if we can do that, asking the state and what the process is for that. And then I'm also wondering, I don't know if they work in the winter, but especially coming uh, like into the health center area, if there was a sign where we could put one of our speed radars might be helpful. Um, I don't know if that's something we can do in the winter. Those should pick up a snowmobile. Oh yeah. Yep. No, that'd be a great idea. That's a good idea. Because you know, if you put it out there just before the health center, everybody's going to be doing more than 35. So that's going to give them the idea they're going to slow down even to get to that level. I mean, we're going to, it's going to be an issue, Ross. I, I guarantee you there's going to be people that are going to go too fast. But, um, but we also have the advantage of street crossings, right, in the village where the slow people down, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, slow is not a right. It's, it's a privilege. They both don't and the, the rules, and they don't have to be for One of the um, questions I've heard asked at LBRT meetings is 
um, typically on batch trails. There's it's multi-use. There's horse and buggy. There's cross-country steers, um, and that has been for snowmobiles. Snowmobiles pay to use the trail, so it'll be interesting. I I wonder what the what the answer to the question of who has the right of way on the LBRT? Well, the person, the people of us. Right. Yeah. During the that's during, how I was supposed to. During the snowmobiling season. And that's not how it's no. snowmobiles it's are snowmobiles. And the right of way. Yeah. So on the LBRT, on which the is opposite from well, no, which is how bad well, trails as far are. As far as I'm concerned, I'm not sure. yeah, that looks, I guess I never common been. sense would tell you that, you know. You mean you tend to yield to pedestrians you can just run them down? No, I can only stop when the pedestrians stop. But then that would change how it's going to run up. So it's it's really not nice. serious. Yeah. It's, 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 a it's, a yeah. It's, a it's a question. It's a question. It's a question. We also haven't had the rail trail open here for a winter. So we actually don't even have a single winter experience. Right. Yes. And uh, I guess before getting too excited about trying to change things, I'd kind of like to see. What the real experience, the lived experience is of having the snowmobiles right here. It's going to be good here because this is this is new trail, new new rail trail, and there's still the other way around. Right. So it's very unlikely that you must, you know, we're not it's not like we're going to get 100 of the use um, of the new trail because some people still going to go the old. Yeah. But I think Ross has a really good point that you know, regardless whether you know. A stand or a hardwick or a Morris fell that 35 miles an hour is too fast within a village. And I think that a bunch of people are on the trail. But I know Dan, you're getting down to 35. Oh, but I don't think that is a practical consideration. Oh, it gets what Ross is saying as a as yeah, a no, I as a clear think what's the through here. 35 is not that fast. Um, but it's, if you're standing there and I go by at 35, I guarantee you think it's too bad. Yeah. <laughs> if two passes by a person or a dog or a I would agree with you. But it doesn't matter that it's in the village or if it's here in the town. That's my way of saying, yeah. It's yeah. Right. You know, it's the rules got to be so that they're adjusted the whole thing. The same rules, the same people, same sharing, everything's going to be the whole length of it. Mm -hmm. The only difference we have here is there may be more condensed, but more of them, which just makes it easier to go slow. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. but certainly, if I see one person, another person, another person, one person, it's going to be done slow. Mm -hmm. You know, you're going to go slow and slow and slow. So I understand it. I don't, I'm not against it. I just, I'm back, I'm, I'm with there. It would be great to see what we really get. We're going to have law enforcement, local law enforcement here on the rail trail. There's slow good season. Which is absolutely nothing that's ever been seen before around here. So, and then we'll address it, Ross, if we need to. There's no problem there. Uh, well, would it be useful for the board to bring the concern to the attention of the, the uh, Casinos Committee so that it can have discussion? Um, about this, um, I don't know. Yeah, I don't, yeah, yeah. We do have, like, we have the meeting that we have to, that's scheduled just today. That's on Wednesday morning at 8 30. Mm -hmm. About the LBH here in Hardwick. It's not about trailing. So, you know. Well, I, I don't think that's a problem. I mean, the system's going to be probably this but I'm certainly asking the question. Yeah, I've got to believe there's going to be other communities that are. Thought about it. I just don't know if they've done anything about it. Just I mean, like, we're not going to on the on Saturday, and that's on the weekends. They're busy. It's busy. Sam West Ham. All right. So, so we can bring it. We should, yeah, we should ask the question and say this is something that the that friend brought up as a concern and something that we at least are going to be looking to monitor this winter. And well, that's a snowmobiler. I certainly would not be against it being slower between the hills and the Yeah, it's yeah. a short distance. And, 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 the, so, and that's the area that um, well, it's just again, the that 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 it. takes away the mindset of you need to be alert and share the trail and then get you the trail, whether you're up the woods or you're in the village, it doesn't matter. 
Yeah. And quite honestly, no one was doing 35 on the list. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. That's that's really the big problem. Just people walking like we know the list. So thank you, Ross. I'm gonna move this along. <laughs> thank you. Um so next is uh select board to can to the uh sorry to approve minutes from last time, which was November the 17th. I thought minutes look good. Did somebody want to approve minutes? Seven. Seven. Sounds good. Really Great. Any discussion any changes on the minutes? All in favor of approving the minutes as written, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. Okay. So that's everyone. So motion carries. Thank you. Next is um, town manager's report, given by David. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, well, well your, your team's kind of light tonight, brother. It is. Yeah. <laughs> I noticed you moved over in the middle. Oh, oh Mike's on. Mike's not Mike's here. Not here. No, no, no. And I think I heard sirens, so I don't know if Tommy got oh, no, out of fire. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, you're fine. I can handle it. <laughs> um, so, first detailed agreement has been sent to uh, an attorney to draft up. Um, Mr. Davis and I came to kind of to language a verbal agreement for kind of language for purchase and sales. Great. So, that is a step forward. So, um, just want to let you know where that is. Um, can oh, you, and that's for a new town gravel pit. Gravel pit. Yeah. Yeah. Did I see that? Mm -hmm. Oh, you did. I didn't see the gravel pit. Yeah, you yeah. said um, that's exciting. Yeah, it, it is, is very good. Yeah, because our other one is not played out. Yeah, I was just thinking that, that, that when you said that, so that popped in my mind. I bet there's a lot of other towns who still say that. I know two other towns. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> just they were saying that. Yeah. I'm sad. Um, continued negotiations with both bargaining units, um, police and public works. We had a meeting this week, so that's going moving, moving forward. Um, surveys for the bridge and park closed with 103 responses, tied with the last one. Um, so all the same people came out. <laughs> um, SC Group is preparing a cost estimate for option number one. Um, and there's some other details which some of you are aware of. Um, we have the, the more uh, comprehensive survey of the area um, on the Main Street side primarily, um, just so we know where property lines are. And Tracy Martin submitted the grant application for a feasibility study for moving the town garage and fire department to Cary Road. Um, I went against what the board said last time. Um, we, we know that it works to have a town garage up here, so we're not gonna invest in the feasibility study for up here. We're gonna do it for there. So, cause we know it works here. So first step, we'll do that. We're not, we didn't wanna include- The feasibility study is way different than comparing to. Yeah, yeah, and we can just twice. yeah, we can just get somebody to engine or to draft up plans if we're gonna keep it here. So I just we simplified that, and with Tracy's timeline, yeah. that's what we did. I hope it's okay. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Um. Then the downtown paving project contract is coming to an end. I've spoken with the project engineer, and there are several punched items that still need to be addressed, which will be addressed in the spring. Um. They're also aware of the paint and some of the crosswalks. I don't know if you have, um, I don't know if you got not noticed, but the thing is is completely coming off. Mm -hmm. okay. In some places it's straight here. Uh, yeah. So um, they're aware of it and they they're coming up with a plan to address it. This stuff didn't bond. So, so I don't know if the ground temperature was too cold. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Yeah. So that's my report and I'm sticking to it. So I know this could either be now or in some of reports, but this uh, some big rivers club, some of the club used the community room, which is oh yeah, great space to use. Yeah, uh, appreciate it very much. Yeah, the only comment that we had was we should put a motion light out there because the sky and people can't see to get the box. Yeah, well, everybody has a cell phone with a light. I know that, and they sell these headlamps down at um. <laughs> Well, you can put a headlamp on and do the combination to the key code really easy. Mm -hmm. But the so when much the same hardware store is not the same battery already motion. Yeah, I know. I'm just realizing. So it's too much of a burden for the town. So what's nice is 
um, is the opioid. So this is kind of like my rationale. So the opioid settlement money um, is go. It, it's a you know a um, reimbursement to the towns that have suffered from you know substance abuse and addiction. And this community space is, I think, is a good way to reinvest that money into motion lighting, <clears throat> um, into like Zoom capabilities for. Yeah, that was the other thing. That yeah, I said is they would like to be able to broadcast Zoom. I said, okay. Okay. So yeah. it's good for me to be able to say. Ah, yeah. So I'm going to have one. I'm. I'm. Uh, I'm mean, that's that's my point. We're hurting the ability of the community. Yeah. 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 And I think it's a great space. Yeah. And no, we need it, we should be using it. Yeah. So it, makes me, it makes me happy when people are in there. Yeah. No, they, it's, it's good. They've been struggling. Yeah. yeah. All right. Keep it short. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, the only thing I just wanted to highlight, you already said it, but could, for those watching at home, that option for one that was collected for yeah. the, it's the cheapest one. The cheapest. Yeah. It's also the stimulus. Yeah. Which we can have the most. We can talk about my vision, letting people know that that was the, was the top one, it was the simplest one. Was that 120 to 150, I think? Was it price, price range? Or just the bridge. Yeah. But we, as it turns out, have to replace the button. So. Yeah, just for the bridge. Yeah. Might have to hire someone to put the bridge there. But we have 70,000, 700,000 earmarks, so we might be able to put in under that total. Won't have that time lately. Not like you know how things are going. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Hopefully, we're going to get oh, this the glasses. Yeah. You and your rainbow are going to glasses, man. Just go down again. Let's hold it. You said that before, we're going to get this house. So next up is road forming report. They've been uh, I don't know, filing whatever they been doing. They really have one. No. <laughs> They've been doing something. Yeah, so I can give you an update. Um, I met with Mike Reno, um, who also plows for High Park. Okay. And he also has the tree service that we agreed to do some tree work. Oh, yeah. So um, he, he and I went for a ride this morning. Um, and we're going to do some road side road clearing for some big trees. Mm -hmm. Um, we're going to try to get what you can get done, weather, weather dependent next week. And then we'll clean up the rest of that road project in the spring. But this is a good way to get it ahead of it. Yep. So Tommy met with him as well. Okay. After. Yep. And that's scheduled for Monday. Awesome. Yeah. They got another load, two, two more loads of salt. So we're doing pretty good on salt for now. Are all our trucks running? Are some of all the trucks are running? That's amazing. And uh, yeah, the rail strike is gone to the president's desk, I guess. So yeah, it's good. Really? Yep. That was really bad. Yep. All right. I'm Thank done. You. Good. So next is a uh, police department report. We have uh, Chief Mike Henry here. Hello. Hello. Uh, so I'll keep mine short and sweet. Um, I think the big thing is that uh, Casey and I have got the uh, COPS grant, the first phase of that done, um, which is big. The next phase of that is uh, an actual interview where we're going to be looking for uh, you know a few people from the community to sit in on that as well. That's on the uh, 29th of uh, this month. Um, other than that... Uh, I'm going to stop you for one sec. So yep. we met with something about we were randomly selected to be audited for our COPS grant, um, which did start in 2017. Um, and of course, it took us a year and a half to find somebody. And we had to extend with uh, yeah. the officer being on leave. Yeah. We don't know he left. We had to hire somebody else. So it's been going on for five years. And so we were randomly selected for an audit. Um, yes. So there's, yeah. there's a very large amount of information that they require. And so it was due today. We got it done. Got it done. Um, and then we have a two and a half hour video conference with them on December 29th. Which you're so encouraging that's everyone to attend. <laughs> <laughs> yes. that's, that's that. Yeah. Okay. A little something. We'll keep that short and sweet too. <laughs> yeah. Um, so uh, 
We are selling the uh, 2018 Ford uh, Focus. I know that, uh, uh, you know, that's, a, I'm sorry, Ford Taurus, excuse me, Ford Taurus. Uh, I know that Danny was interested in that, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's other people as well. Uh, but all wheel drive, it's on the uh, Facebook page. If anybody's interested, that's out there. We're also selling light bars. Uh, we have brush guards and compu computers as well that we're selling through the Facebook page. So I just want to put that out there. If anybody's interested in anything like that. Uh, as far as the police department goes, the uh, you know, the main thing that we're dealing with right now is we have a lot of uh, leaving the scene of the crash uh, cases that we're dealing with. Um, it, I, don't, I don't know why, but it's becoming more and more prevalent when people are crashing, they're just taking off. Uh. So that's the big thing going on. Uh, <clears throat> we all, I guess the word's gotten out there that we do fingerprints because we're doing uh, three to four fingerprints a day right now. Uh, everybody's coming down to Hardwick. Uh, you know, it was originally set up for community members, uh, people close in Hardwick, but uh, we've got people, you know, we had a lady from Concord that drove all the way down to Hardwick today, uh, I guess because it's easier. Um, so that seems to be pretty popular now. <clears throat> Mike, can we charge for that? Can I ask a really quick question about that? Yeah. Yeah, that was my question was, is that revenue going to be in the um, in the upcoming budget? Because I know that there is some revenue. Yeah, there is some revenue there. And Casey can probably talk more about how that comes when that comes in. We give that over to uh, the town. Yeah, it's under miscellaneous PD revenue. And uh, we did increase it for the next budget because we're getting more. You catch that, David? I think she froze. I was not able to. Um, Kaylee, we did put some in for the next budget. Um, it's under PD miscellaneous revenue. Awesome, thanks. Uh, thank you for providing that service. I remember having to go to St. J to get fingerprinted to, work, to volunteer in the elementary school. So. Oh, you got to hide the yeah. no. We have a request in through um, CDS proposal from the school. And part of that request is to get an EFIS machine, which is uh, automated fingerprint. So it's like on a screen and it automatically goes to the thing. Right now they're doing it with anger. But that would cost about 18 grand. And so it, it was tied into a request for a school program because it involves yeah. community volunteer. Yeah. Yeah. So we could get funding for that. So we could get funding for that. And that would help improve the workflow, make it easier at the PD. Yeah. Awesome. Great. What else, Mike? I, I think that's it. Short and sweet tonight. Awesome. Thank you. Um, all right, I'm gonna move us uh, to where are we? Item one. One. So I board to consider dissolving the mission. <laughs> <laughs> Since the wait, downtown partnership has now been officially formed. So we don't need the commission anymore because it's, yes, it's, it's done its job. It's completed its task. Yeah. 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 You know, again, I'm happy to say that the, the board, all the commissioners have moved over to the board of the fabric. Oh, and, we've added, and we've added an additional Was that the way it was intended? Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. That that design. Good. It's progress, Danny. That's what it is. Progress. So, the, the, so you're going to make the motion to dissolve the downtown commission? I suppose so. Sure. So I'll we'll second it. There we go. So moved and seconded. Any more discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 All right. And that's we waited. Everyone. What? No. Did you want did you want to say anything, first? I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry. I, mean, I just I just wanted to introduce, uh, introduce myself. I'm Darcy Cam from the North Indian Chamber of Commerce. And we are the chamber representing Harvard. And have been for the last year and a half now. 
Mr. Lyons will put a face to this and I've been talking with Obi on a very frequent basis and Sherry as well. And one to let me you know that we'll be there. However, we need us. Uh, got a couple of breaks that were kind of already been involved with it. Some chamber because the part the part the chamber that was here dissolved. Yeah, that's right. Yes. We got the chamber was really swimming for a while. Yeah, we'll stop doing it. Maybe we'll do minutes. Um, well, um, a number of different initiatives going forward, including with the, the, the maps and the website, you know, and get the momentum up and running there. We Great. know that this year needs it. Awesome. Thank you. All right, so that motion carried. I didn't say that, but that everybody was in favor of dissolving the downtown commission because we now have the downtown partnership. Um, all right, next, item two, select board to discuss and approve the purchase of network hardware for the town and hardware's enhanced security feature. And we had in our page, I don't want you to do that in the security No, I think we don't make a motion, we do that. I think we have choices. So, so I have the quote here with the itemized stuff that we need. Uh, yeah. um, my plan is once you say this is okay, I'm gonna have an installer come because this was just for the bone. Yeah. For the quote. Okay. Um from uh these the 443 technologies. I actually talked to them. They worked on the other quotes. Um and I'll have somebody come here, check everything out, and this could go down with the the number of of you know switches and controllers. Mm -hmm. Could go down because they haven't seen because they haven't they just gone by like how I describe things, and then I'd like to get this done in conjunction with what the Lady Center is going to do for us with uh, cyber security stuff. So it's all kind of this is the hardware, and then the the back end stuff. I don't know. I've learned a lot about IT language, and it's really. Lingo, yeah, the language, learn the language, yeah. I haven't learned stuff, so I figured out that's what I mean. I don't know. So, end user, yeah. So, so, what do you need from us? So, I think just um, up to the 13, the 443 technologies was 139505. And this is for the same purchase of the equipment. Yeah, it's all the three quotes are for the same identical equipment. Yep, okay, and then, um. And then there's going to be like installer fee and like a service. Like if we sign up for a year service um, for maintenance, monitoring. And, yeah. well, not monitoring, but just like updating. Uh -huh. um, the monitoring is, is different. That's like, that would be it. Yeah. <laughs> this is like hardware. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. So yeah. this would be. I just have a super Super quick question, OP. Does this cover all town departments? Like, would this also cover the police department? So this is where. So the electric department. Uh, <laughs> the electric department. So, so, all town. so um, town, the memorial building, the library, the town garage, the water and sewer plant, the PD, and the scene, the PD senior center. So the garage, the library is a building here. And sewer plant, like basically where we have computers with high to the mm -hmm. Great. Do you need a motion to to purchase the hardware? Purchase not, the hardware. Not, not to exceed thirteen ninety five. Not to exceed fourteen thousand yeah. I can second that. If that was a motion. Okay, so Danny, Danny made the motion, and Kaylee made the second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 All right. And that's everyone. So the motion carries. Thank you very much for working on this because I think it's very important. It is, but it's. I know it's not easy. It's, it's a rabbit hole. Well, it's just that. Uh,
the learning the lingo. It's like, you know, I can change the oil in a car but when it comes to like doing a switch on a firewall. <laughs> I look for the fire. <laughs> But this is really yeah, yeah and, and the stuff that I mean I know Mike has done a bunch of stuff with the PD to to yeah you know it's a it's it takes just once <clears throat> yeah getting yeah getting caught out once yeah would be really bad yeah so, and I, the town fair um yeah. uh, the VLC D town fair that I I sat in on a um, session with the lady center yeah. and it's we're getting us like a seven or eight thousand dollar service for free because awesome. it's, it's done by students that that are you know have government clearance they have contracts with they know where the plane is they, 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 they know where the plane is yeah 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 so it's good yeah awesome yep thank, thank you. you yeah all right so the next is three Business manager AC Rowell to present draft budgets of police revenue and buildings and the uh, rec committee. Oh, sorry, I read that wrong. You're going to present police revenue and buildings yeah. and then separately, I think. Perhaps this trails, is right, but trails is not going tonight. Yeah. Recreation committee is here and I'm actually going to let them go first. Okay. Yes. That's good. Do I go over there to say we need? Yeah, we don't just do the phone aspect of it. Not on the So we have a You got a microphone. Sweet. I wrote some lovely notes, but I don't want to read them because they don't read my journal. I'm going to pull up the recreation budget and share my screen for those. Do you need this? No, it's on the screen. I, I can't. I have multi It's only one line and one increase. Okay. It's small. So, am I free to go for it? Go ahead. So, last year we didn't increase our budget um, at all. We moved like line item names around a little bit here and there to adjust what we were doing, what we weren't doing. Um, we do, we, we want to propose this for this upcoming budget. Um, an increase of 2,000 community programming line. Um, so our thought, and we've been talking about this in our committee, um, is coming off the coattails of a successful soccer plan we just did for you. 25 kids, all the families stayed. It was a huge event. Um, we recognize that there's not a lot of people that really want to volunteer all the time. And so we gave the organizer of the program, soccer coach works at school, uh, we gave her a stipend. And we said to ourselves, it's an aha moment with outreach, um, without after school program, without clinics going on. Um, how do we kind of pull people in to help us? Because we don't have a direct department per se, so we don't do the programming going on. Um, on top of that, that would cover stipends, materials for those programs. The other thing we thought about was the actual cushion for things we want to do. So we did the swim program last summer. Um, teaching our business when we'd like to do two weeks of that this year coming up. It was a huge success. We collaborated with Devin Burgess, Greensboro, um, but those things cost money. And um, we'd like to see an increase of more kids who come to that program. So like cut off to that. <clears throat> so that's another um, area where money could go to. And if we had folks, we've had folks come to us and say, hey, we would like to do, um, you know, the basketball clinic for little kids not able to be like on a team or you know, the school system that could help with shirts and um, supplement stipends for folks who necessarily can't volunteer but would be willing to pay to do to do that. Um, we'd like to obviously use some of that for other things we've been doing, like the bike rodeo we'd like to pull in and have that more um Hardwick and trail committee, not other folks coming into Hardwick and doing programming for us. Um, there's another conversation going around. We have um, another gentleman do our cross-country ski program for youth. That reach we don't have any programming, so that could um, be an asset for us. Um, there's mountain biking that could take place. So that two thousand dollars is not a lot of money, but I think it could cover a lot of little things that we might need to do and would like to do. Okay. Where? Where was the reach funding? Where did the reach funding go? 
Where was it coming from? I don't know. So I'm understanding of the funding is still there, right? Yeah. I can Go I can it. speak to the state. Can you hear me okay? Nope. Um, the reason why the REACH program isn't running is not because of funding. It's because they don't have any staff. So the director quit and then all the site coordinators also quit. And so they've been working to hire a new 21C director and the district cannot access their state funds unless they have an executive director. So that's kind of like where the funding comes in. I know that David Baker, the new superintendent is working really hard on this. And I think that they're planning and getting programs up and running again this winter. Um, but that's all that I, I just wanted to throw in my two cents there. And then in terms of the rec budget, because I used to run REACH and was also on the rec committee, that line, that youth line used to basically just go to REACH. And I know that Jason and the rec committee has really stepped up to do um, their own youth programs now that REACH is not running. Yeah, I was going to call because I was doing like the mountain life keeping for reach and doing this and working in school doing prospector scheme. And it's a lot. Right. And you need people to do that. And when you find the right people to do that, keeping them there and justifying their presence to continue to do the program, giving them something to do that is really nice to our site. And then, you know, I also have to reach program is an important program. It is a very important program. And and it's not like starting to reach. Yeah. And it's, Jason, I just have a question about. Um, I, um, so my question, you talked a little bit about um, the cost of taking over some of these programs in terms of insurance. Have you actually found quotes for that? No, my hunch is that David, Dr. Baker is going to reignite reach or some after school program at some point. Um, if we collaborate with them like we did with Reach, I don't think we would need independent insurance because he had you know covered that like he did in the past. Reach a lot of piggybacking off of Reach and vice versa. So I think there needs to be more clarity around what our role would be with any programming, uh, school programming, and what they need from us and vice versa. That was very it wasn't transparent um, back in the past. I think that needs to be whatever Dr. Baker decides to do. Would need to be kind of brought, brought to the table and presented. Uh, if we're to fund some of that stuff, we need to know what we're funding and where it's going. That yeah, I mean, the reason why I ask is because if the town is running, which is not, I, I, I don't know what kind of insurance we have for some of these community and youth events. Um, I'm sure it's not, not cheap. <laughs> um, I don't know if we need to like get, you know, up our insurance liability for something like that. Well, I mean, if we're doing our own programming, I mean, we have the Easter egg hunt that we can do with the rec committee sponsors that falls under the town insurance umbrella, I would assume that we're part of the town, correct? I mean, I would assume that well, we can do the Easter egg hunt. You might need an events event. Um, yeah, it could go either way. It could be either way. Sometimes they, you have to have, like, if you have an event, you need an event rec writer. Okay. Yeah, I'll um talk to the LCT. Like at the town sounds that he had this conversation. It sounds like at least for this bunch of year, you guys need this amount of money to do what you guys want to do. And hopefully by then this will be by next budget year, we should be stood back up in the conversation and be about maybe figuring out how we can all work together. Yeah. Right. With more transparency. Because I do remember transparency in the money and the the thing was an issue before as well. But well, the great thing too is that I don't have other organizations come in like Teach America as they teach kids to swim. They have their own shirts, their own staff, their own organization. All we do is pay the bill and brought so many more local kids to Cassidy to the program than outsourcing the stove. Um, so if we can be creative, great about that in the meantime until we get a legit program in town with insurance, that then um, it's kind of a win win at that point, pulled over. So, so just to come back to the proposed budget, we're basically looking at the same budget as last year, except for an increase of 2,000 in the community program one yeah. to help uh, cover stipends for various youth programs. Right. Okay. Thank you. Yes. You go. All right. Roll well, down. I'm going to get some. No. Yeah. Well, if you like, I, I you get a lot more entertainment to come. So. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.
This is this is great. That was good information. I love hearing all this stuff. You can come tomorrow. I was going to say, I'm going to say, first to be saying, you can have one of these. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. One more. Yes. All right. Um, let's move to buildings. Um, Is it safe to follow along in the printed? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I can see right away um, that these increases are in fuel oil. Um, Last fiscal year, we were paying two forty-five. Um, most latest delivery we had was six dollars and seven cents. Um, so realistically, I basically took our you our dollar amount for two thousand twenty-two and doubled it because our price is more than doubled essentially. So um, as you can see, Memorial Building is going up 77 percent when we increase about seven thousand from the current budget. Pay some fuel oil prices. I'm, so, I'm gonna. I'm going to. What about the? Uh, so the. I went through all of this. under. It goes under highway expense. Yeah, it's not on here. It's not it's, really. It is, but I don't know if it's because there was another. But, um, on it's not. It's <laughs> because. <laughs> um. So here, I have this. I'm looking at this stuff this afternoon, mm -hmm. and I'm just thinking. I was also kind of poking around at the news and some market sites. And I'm going to propose that, because it's fine to roll it tonight, but over the course of the next month or so till we finalize this, I think. Prices might come down. And then well, let's keep an eye on, like, the, the thing about the yeah, fuel market, yeah, the futures, because the thing about the fuel market, they're just really volatile. Yeah. And so, yeah, it's really expensive to fill your fuel tank or your diesel tank right now. But the, pr the price of a barrel of crude has been dropping. Yeah. And so, you know, I guess what I'm going to say yeah. Is, yeah. is that we should, that well, this is I realistic. Right yeah. Should, right. Oh, yeah. This is realistic for the prices we're paying today. That's affecting this year's budget that we're in. It's gonna probably eat into our fund balance at the end of the year. Yes. And we're so a year away. But we're looking at next winter. And so I think we just thought that everybody ought to just ponder that and chew on it for the next month or so. Yeah. And just no, out well, so speaking, so we were paying 245 in fiscal year 22. We were fixed at 245. So double that is four dollars and ninety cents. Um so Right now, the price was what six oh seven our last delivery. So we sort of are looking at it as only being four ninety, which is yeah. you know yeah. another seventeen left. Yeah. So that bubble. Well, I think it's a good place for a minute, Casey. Casey, but I see what you're saying. You're already saying it's going to be double. Yeah, you're not saying it's going to be triple where it is right now. Yeah, almost. right now we're almost triple. Right, six seven. Well, yeah, six oh seven was the last the last delivery, but our they fluctuate. I mean, they literally the one we about that was eighty five cents left. This is not no, this is first year in a while. The um, we were not able to get a lock in price for our fuel oil or the diesel fuel oil. Anyway. And so that's the a, markets are too That's another thing. If the markets settle oh, that index. Oh, most definitely. And it does fluctuate. The, the heating oil, the last two bills for some of the buildings fluctuated 85 cents, but it went down, it went down 85 cents and it went back up a dollar. Like it's it's very, very like uh, that's, well, that's I don't want I'm with it. Thank you, Eric. That's good, good idea. So yeah, we could start making an eye on it. But that's that's why you're seeing these increases in fuel oil. That's those are and so it's, it's not just here, it's when we look at the highway budget and the oh, budget, because they're all in it. Yes, diesel and all that good stuff. Yeah. The other thing is, is when we're looking at our budget, like you just said, we should remember <clears throat> we made up, we're going to struggle this year with having 
wanting to use a lot of our service and or not having any choice. Well, we're going to have to use some, there's no doubt. But we should make sure that we don't use it too much to where if we're off in this budget, right? We still have enough to for next year. Don't cut it too, don't cut it too high. Yeah. No, you're right. You know, we don't want to make this year's going to be a tough year. And we're going to have to take the bullet. And we're not, we don't, I, I'm not going to be interested in asking too much of this on the picture, right? Because I think that's like, I think that's why I'm important. We've been learning that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So. So, any specific questions about the buildings? Because I think so. Basically, it's pretty straightforward. The only thing that's hitting us really is the fuel, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think the insurance stuff is pretty stable. Yes. So, not to to be clear, I guess the question is now, but the sewer pit building facility was in the sewer budget. Right. And the highway garage building is in the highway budget. It does, yeah. Um, and I and it has been that way. It's it's literally in their worksheet. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I think it's because um this I you know I just took this over and I think it's because there wasn't enough room on the page. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's what I'm so if we want to just if we want to split and make buildings two pages. It's the same thing with, oh yeah, so highway, I think it's the only one that doesn't show well on here. So if we wanted to sort of change it and split well, and do have two pages of buildings, we certainly have room no to do that. So if you'd like to see it taken out of sort of the highway budget and put here, you know, I can certainly do that. Well, I'm pretty sure it's going to show the highway budget is going to be you know, the fuel oil for the building is going to be shown in there. It actually isn't going, the fuel oil for them is not going to be affected because they have propane, and we did get a lot of price for propane, oh. and it's fairly favorable. Right. So, you know what I'm saying? That the cost is still in the yeah. wrong place. It should be in the building. Right. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like, you, so utilities, um, <coughs> insurance, fuel oil, that stuff, I could pull out. And move it over to buildings if that's what you'd like to be it. I just will need to put buildings on these separate beaches, which is not a big deal. Our common core has room for it. So I am just I was just gonna I don't want to get into a uh, I don't wanna have a too long of a conversation about this, but I do think that um it's worth at some point talking about what we can turn over to electric because uh i don't know it seems like the future of fuel is uh going to be pretty up and down so maybe that's a longer conversation after budget season for next year but if, is there are there either vehicles or certain things that the town can think about for the future for <laughs> other heating fuel sources I've spoken with uh, Bill, our energy committee guy, about uh, heat pumps for the public safety building, specifically the furnace that's in the addition. And we might start there with installing um, some heat pumps in that side of the building. So those are electric and high efficiency. The problem is, is they, we would have to invest in cold weather heat pumps or keep yeah. a furnace with some oil on hand for the really cold. Um, those really only work deep into the shoulder seasons. So it doesn't fix the deep winter. So this the technology is fun, but I, I do agree with you, Kaylee. I think it's good to be diverse with our energy and our heating stuff. And um, I think when we are looking at Newtown Garage, it's a perfect time to figure out like how do we make that energy efficient to start with and then you know how do we use it maybe electricity as a as a main fuel in this plan. Yeah. Electricity free? Yeah it's totally free. We own an electric car. Yeah. I just wanted everybody wants electricity. It must be great. Yeah. Um, it's just cheaper than uh, diesel right now. I think propane is actually the cheapest. Not if you're paying the market rate. Right. Right. No, yeah. but if you're, yeah, <laughs> um, you get like, 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 like,
but yeah. Good point. Yeah. Everything. Thank you. Yeah. You and I think as time goes on, we're gonna have like definitely the like the cruisers for the PD are gonna end up being electric. Have you driven a uh, one of those new lightnings, the Ford yeah. 150 Boom. Very fast. <laughs> yeah, no, I, but you didn't go over 35. I haven't yeah. driven it yeah. because I could have done it before the road. I don't know. Yeah. That's that going to be, that's going to be, I don't know if it's going to save us any money. I mean, we're trying to get, we're putting a lot of pressure on electricity. It's going to save the world, save us money. But you got to burn a fuel to make electricity. Yeah. Or we want to do it for. Yeah. Against the sun. Against the photons. Yeah. Anyway, we digress. Well, we not. Why not? So, we need to get the gap. So, are we. We're done Yeah. Good news. Good news. Good news. We've seen a lot of really large increases in departments. Yeah, the yeah. budget is 1.8. Um, so I have my head a few highlights. So cost grant obviously will be completely finished by this budget. So that's why those expenses are gone away. But the associated revenue is also gone away. Right? Yes, yeah. correct. That's, that's fine. We're looking into retention, like a retention grant or continue to like re up on those exist. Um, potentially, yeah. Oh, that's nice. definitely. Yeah. Um, so just you know, some vehicle maintenance and things we've got newer vehicles, so we went down a little bit on the tires and vehicle maintenance, just went down a thousand dollars on those dispatch services. Um, we have received a preliminary notice, those are going to go up about seven percent. That's on here. Um, Retirement expense is showing a decrease, but that again is associated with your salaries. Um, so this base payroll is for full time and cheap, and the part time budget is for full time at nine hundred hours a year. So for full time and cheap, and and the part time is what? For yeah. part time at nine hundred hours each. So basically, are you saying, Casey, that it's cheaper to have more part-time officers? Is that what this is showing us? Well, I don't know as well. That's we, the current, like, we what this guy it is. We've kind of tossed that around. Yeah. Um, it's, it's hard to find even a full-time officer right now. So, um, so not cheaper, but this, this is more like what our scenario currently is. Correct. Yes. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Um, and, and you are saving on uh, a lot of things like the uh, um, the health insurance. You know, the part timers don't take that. They don't have retirement expenses. They, you know, a lot of other things they don't have that full time officers have. Right. Uh, ho holiday pay, uh, vacation pay. You know, they when the part timers are there, they're <coughs> they're just getting their pay for for that. So you are saving quite a bit there. I mean, I'm guessing like your choice would be to have all full time and not have to do what because it must be a lot more scheduling, a lot more everything dealing with all part time folks. Yeah, it, it definitely is a lot more uh, work when it comes to scheduling. Um, and yes, we would like to have another full time person, but again, uh, we are fortunate that we've got. Uh, to people who've got more than 30 years of experience. Um, and that's that's huge for the town of Hardwick. Yeah, no, that's good. Uh, well, I don't think you did anything wrong with it, but I see. That's the nicest, that's the nicest budget we've seen. So, so can we increase it? <laughs> oh, good job. <laughs> so, yeah. Good work. Any other questions about that? Nope, not uh, at this point. Okay. We are, so next meeting, we will have library and trails, which are the only two we haven't seen. However, there are estimates.
that were already put into place in line items. So this next will be about as close as our first run is right now. So here we are, revenue and budget summary. Um, so current useful and harmless is, um, that's based on the payment we received in the current year. So basically just left it for that for yep. the next year um, that has been received. A lot of these based on what we took in in 22 and what we budgeted in 23 are not changing, like zoning permits, licenses and fees, reporting fees. Those figures are quite accurate. Um, you'll see an increase in grant and aid revenue. Um, that's the um, program that we participate in every year to sort of get some of that goes for our okay. clients. Um, there is some expense but usually our revenue is more than the expense because we use our in-kind match with the equipment and the labor. Also, by participating in that program, we do a lot of maintenance things that we should be doing anyway. So it's yeah. really helpful. It's really helpful. So program. this summer we did Houston Hill Road, Smith Farm Road, and some additional work on Bunker Hill. Um, and we just submitted for that. We'll, we're waiting for approval for Bunker, uh, for Smith Farm Road and Houston Hill Road. Yep. Um, yeah, so we had to do some backtracking. Yeah. Yeah. EP store today and then um, voice of the Facebook and Wildcast, Johnny Lucci was in there and he was made a point of telling me how good the road crew soon. I'm going to check the roads are at the Thanks. Nice. So it's good to hear that. Yeah, it is. Good to hear your opinion feedback about how good the roads out of town are. Yeah, but you're doing a great job on the surfaces, but a big part of that is that cutting the brush back. It's made our roads look so much better. And the ditching they've done you see the through the years. Right. Uh, well, that too, but yeah. It's clean. You know, yeah. It really is. They look good. They're, they're in good shape. Uh, so unfortunately, the revenue is not a big increase like a lot of our other budgets, mm -hmm. but that's just the way yeah. the way it goes. Mm -hmm. it so yeah, small so kind of small increase in revenue it's from six thousand. What are restricted donations? Um, well, so we something that's not anything. <laughs> I haven't created category for instance. We have. Um, so donations that came in to start up the equity committee, that's a general fund item, and those are restricted for the equity committee, so I had to sort of create that kind of around the budget for anything, but because there was a revenue item restricted donations in the past, it's sort of, if there are any this coming year, or we can bump that off in a following mm -hmm. year, but right now, mm -hmm. we can do that. Mm -hmm. What was the plans of the no. It doesn't matter. We yes. just have to say that. Right. We did. Yeah, we in uh, part of the explanation, you know, this is revenue by the day. So are we still going to ask people to donate? Well, this again, this is the graph. So we have, remember, it's a $6,000 show. So it would be in the expense side, it would be $6,000, and we would need to try to collect three to meet the net three that we've always done. So that, that's a decision that we well, that three is still in there on the revenue side. We have even though we it didn't is, um but no that no not for this we're not doing it this Memorial Day we're this is for the next this is the next for picking their own yeah. Well, I'm not going to check it up on this. I still propose that we take that permanently and put it into the right budget. Take that off. Just take it off. Stop doing it. Sure, it wants to be the bad person. I say we invest the money in live music and have a series of live music. Uh, it's fireworks slash spring festival. That's what we talked about last time. Is yeah, sort of investing in spring festivals. And so that you know, there's another organization that wants to take on fireworks as part of the spring fest, and we contribute financially to the spring fest as a whole. That's an option, but um, 
it would then take that sort of responsibility on us because the, the part is is that we need to prepay yeah, six thousand dollars. Then you have to go seek donations and your risk leader is so on the back and do that. But so I, just, I wonder whether adding this previous thing or maybe it makes more sense to just have it in the information department. You know, Kiwanis does the Spring Fest. They can run a separate fundraising thing, and we can potentially participate in in some other way. But um, why wouldn't we just, if they want, if if Rex organized organize the I thought CAE organized it last year. No, that was Kiwanis. It was Kiwanis. Yeah, that's that's who owns Spring Fest, basically. Right. That's their yeah. event. So yeah. yeah. We just supported it by that. So we yeah. Our yeah. Right. right. Well, we also I think we gave that. Yeah. yeah. We, we supported it. Spring Castle with $4,000. Out of recreation. Yeah. Oh, out of recreation. Oh, that goes to the yeah. end. Oh. Yeah. So, well, that goes to the end. Oh, 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 that goes to the end. <laughs> you well, about anything, about. But I brought that, yeah. That, that, with the fireworks? I've stayed away from fireworks for years so, because it was such a room. Uh, uh, the first time I brought up, why are we spending so much money on this? And it's uh, it's pro it's problematic to a lot of people and animals. Yeah, it's sure, like, you know, the, the, the fastest way to get rid of six thousand dollars. Yeah. It's a, just light it on fire. I mean, you yeah. can't even get rid of six thousand dollars on a slot machine that fast. No, 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 no. It's, it's a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. I so agree. it's something to think about. Other times we just <laughs> do a lesser amount for the spring fest and sort of not do fireworks. So that's right. we don't have to decide that tonight, but it's something okay. as we. I'm not getting start that opposition to that. Bringing yeah. things down, then that. If you want fireworks to come to the next meeting, tell us why you want them. Yeah. Yeah. Right. We got to hear from the public on the fireworks. You know, just get the job of the entertainment. So, do you want to be I'm going to change right now and say that they're not 6000 but do you have a lesser amount for Spring Festival instead? What do I have to do? Or consider it part of recreation community programming. Where is it in the rec? It would be under right community yeah. programming, and, and that's what that's what they did. That's what they wanted to increase. That's what they just wanted to increase. That's why I'm saying why would they increase it that way? And that's yeah, and then yeah. it's it's flat. And then it's flat over on just give us that two thousand, and then we. We scratch our six thousand dollar card and scratch the three thousand dollar. And and so we ask them, yes, we'll give you the increase, but we want that there to be contribution to spring fest. Uh, the same one that was right. Well, they're saying the value last year. Yeah, so they would not really want to. Do. Yes. All right, so we're gonna take right. it out of here. Just do that whole little bit. You can whisper in some of the ears. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so I'm, I'm taking it out of the revenue and I go to the meeting Taking it out of revenue and taking it out of the expenses. So now, new figures. Yeah, it doesn't really change the bottom. Um, well, so what is it? It went from. It's not involved. It's going to get a 3.3 million dollar budget. 3.12, the point 7.9. We just robbed the fire. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. But, um, we're doing it because it's the right thing to do. Yeah. So I have a general question as we look at the bottom lines, and that is um, there's it's, there's a point where we get an estimate of the grand list. Mm -hmm. So I don't remember when that happens. Um, I already have 
what it is as of July 1st, 2022. Yeah, it's, 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 we get the next one not until right. So, next May or so when June. we do our little tax rate estimate here, the way I can kind of see on the screen, but um, I have the grand listed, um, you know, 193,028,800. Which is um, up, down, and different from last year's. I think it's up. I'm pretty okay. sure it's up. I don't know how much, but yes, I believe it's up. So then right now I'm proposing 125,000 of unbalanced to offset it. Our fund balance is at one point um about 1.25 million. Um with a hundred thousand committed to the pedestrian bridge, that brings it down to 1.15. Yeah. Um, so then, how okay. we will use probably two hundred and fifty thousand this year. That's why I'm thinking one twenty five, and we're still gonna be, you know, around probably like seven hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. So, um, and then we, we might be in a position for the twenty five budget to offer another fifty thousand, yeah. and that's why we're doing a graduate yeah. tapering. Yeah. Uh, just to bring the fund balance down and offer a little bit to offset the tax rate. So in this scenario, 125,000 is 8.85 with appropriations. So about $115 per 100,000. Okay. It is actually, isn't it? That's why they say that it doesn't, it's not going to amount to anything. It all just, it usually doesn't. Well, the one was passed through. Right. Okay, yeah. To me, that just shows that we're doing the best we can do. Right. So, you know, somebody has a $230 for the year. That's kind of. I mean, I mean, the other, the other thought is that with the budget, how to re reduce it even more. I know this isn't popular, but we go into building capital. I, and that's that's I'm, I'm short. Really, I don't go to the but just to keep the block. Yeah, I'm not. I don't know well, because I'm not, the, I'm not in the Lord. I'm not in the Lord. I'm not, I don't want to the Lord. Yeah, nobody does. I mean, the reason is it's gone up this year, last year, is not not our budgeting. No, it's 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 not it's not what we are doing. Not not our budgeting. No, it's it's stuff that a lot of outside costs. So it's. Our budgeting, our, this board's budgeting for the last decade has been pretty steady, pretty steady, yeah. Pretty. Yeah. Yeah. and we don't want to touch like that. And you, you know, you're not popular enough. This year, we're not going to be popular. Yeah, so maybe you have anything to do with it other than yeah. making a bad decision. You know, I understand. Uh, I mean, you're not from here, just take money away from something, something. So. You know, yeah, it's, that's going to be popular with some people, but it's not with. I've said this before: is that we are certainly not alone in this. Um, I have talked to other finance directors at other towns. Um, you know, one in particular that is probably twice the size of us. Sort of okay, just to keep going. You know, the same level we are, it's going to go up nine hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> So we are not alone in seeing these kinds of things. No, everyone's right? being being and that's I think we are in an unfortunate position with our fund balance because, yes. like this year that we're in right now, for example, where we didn't know the when we were budgeting for this current year, we didn't know the inflationary pressures that we'd be heading into, and so the, I mean that we're coming into it with a fund balance that's going to support us. Potentially overspending by a quarter million dollars is, is really good. And then everybody's just like, okay, that's just what's going to happen. We're lucky we have the ability to do that. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And that's, yeah, right. Because there's a lot of communities that are on the other end. They're already they're going to have to borrow. They were yes. the whole start, but now they're not having to run out. Right. So, so it's good. And we're still doing it. We're still operating. We're still doing it. We're still, we're still, we're still, we're still, we're still, we're still, we're no, we're not buying a truck, we're not breaking our sequence for any of our capital projects. We're actually still moving forward. Yeah. Yeah. So we're moving I do think. Don't 
Yeah, I was just going to add that I, I think it's interesting. And I, maybe I heard this, maybe I didn't, but it's interesting that our um, percent increase is almost exactly the cost of right. the cost of living increase. Um, and I think that will like, will connect to people, but I do, I mean, it sounds like the board is in agreement that this is pretty close to the best that we can do, but we still have time to try and make it a little bit less for taxpayers. And I think that maybe we can focus for the next few meetings on, I know it's silly, the like fireworks conversation we had doesn't, it doesn't seem like it changes that much, but it does change it a little bit. It would be nice to lower it if possible. I think we would all agree on that as well. <laughs> so maybe we can kind of work to, to go through some of those little little pieces that we can have conversations about, like the fireworks, for example, and decide is it necessary or is it luxury or should it be in a different place? I think we do that every year. Um, and I think we're doing the best that we can, but it is still gonna be still gonna be tough on people. Yeah, definitely. And and I still um, stand by my earlier statement that I think we ought to all ponder the oil features over the next month or so and see. Pay attention to what we kind of learned today. You can't really predict, but you can get an idea like it has been super volatile. Maybe it'll settle down. Or maybe it'll get worse too, but I so for the next meeting, um, we'll have library and trails, which will be our last two, which will then really give us our final picture, um, of, you know, final first draft full we'll run through, um, and then maybe we can sort of, we'll get those two and then recap everything, see where we're at. Um, and then I would say, um, we can maybe talk about, you know, if there's any areas we can cut down. In the meantime, obviously between now and the next two weeks, as I get more information that comes in, because sometimes that happens, like, oh, this, you know, we just get a finalized price for this or that. Um, I will continue to lower it any way I can. And if there's any news about additional expenses, I'll have to address that too. But um, hopefully we'll have a more your picture next time where it's gonna fall. Could you for our next I don't know, I don't even really want to discuss it necessarily, but just so we have it, could you put together um the fund balance over the last several years, just go back, I don't know how far five years mm -hmm. or something, and just say like pick a date. I don't know if it's the end of the fiscal year, but just like mm -hmm. what it is on this date and 2017 and then 2018 and you know yeah I'll go back like seven or eight years because that's really easy data. Okay, I'll make a little chart of what the and then the months was the well, well, just oh, so I know for a lot like we have been growing at say for seven or eight years. I don't think we've been yeah. into it yet. Mm -hmm. We will this year most definitely. So I can think so yeah, you can say that's how we ended the year on each of the years. Like this is the fun balance and how we. Oh, I guess that was. Uh, why don't you put on a little graph thing? Like, yeah, just yeah, just yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm curious about. And I don't, I don't care if it's a graph because it's a small enough number. Of, if it's only like five or ten years, if it's a small chart to look at. All right, I'll do something. I'll get something together. I don't think anybody else does. Library. And then somewhere else, it's Danny. No, but no, she said library. I mean, where's the library instruction? Oh, yeah, it's in. Yodi will be here for the December 15th meeting to give you an update on that. Oh, that actually on it? Yes, that's, I said, if we're going to do that, it's the perfect time to update they, the board on where things are at. I think they didn't they change the contract to the construction management and yes. they're looking for, uh, they put out an RFP for the construction management. Uh, I, I think don't, no, I don't. So it's still moving forward. Yeah. They they try they they pivoted. Not completely turned around. Oh, no, they've been pivoted for five, six years. Now that's sitting there the beast. Yeah. Well, the so yellow, yellow, yellow bar and all the feedback we're getting is that if we were if we were able to do a construction management style delivery of that. 
construction, we'd have way more interest from the general. Oh, today was the day for the yellow. Uh, it's been post. It's uh, been extended till December fifteenth. Uh, that's a really good. It was interesting. So less liability, uh, financial liability in a construction way. And with the markets the way we're right now, it's so it's and so it's like it, so it's like it, it's a we can't can do that. Don't be I guess it's more it. more of a cost plus type of a, like yeah. they they say yeah we'll do it for this and we'll you know whatever the cost is and we're gonna tack on three percent or whatever the percentage is, but we can't because of one of our funders just says like America, you cannot. No, well I didn't know how that rolls. So. These projects get way out of control. But, uh, so, uh, so we'll get libraries updated yeah. next week. Weeks, yeah. Or two weeks, yeah. Next and then we had two weeks off. Yeah. We have three weeks. Three weeks off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's five Thursdays and Oh, it's a blue tonight. Summer. Great. Very good. Yeah. Oh, and what's the, um, I know this is getting ahead too, but uh we need to finalize the budget usually it's the drop dead is something like january 20th or something yes like that. I think because the um town meeting is going to seem like march 7th so, yeah. this is a few extra days so uh, i'm i need to confirm with tanya but i think that you'll be able to approve that on the 19th oh nice so and that's the little bit of time to get the report together yeah so i'll have pretty much the, all of the report will be done except for the budget portion of it so but we're going to pick that we're going to see that yeah um, put it on the agenda right now yeah but we need to bring this back so that's we'll go and do that in new business yes so that's yeah. Okay, so we're, sorry, we went all three of it. Old business, I think. Old business. Okay, so let's go. So, yeah, we're going to be split for reports. Very had some you know, email randomly during our conversation. I don't know. <laughs> all right. You mean what about what? Well, Danny reported about having used the. Uh, oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was a good one. I'm not sure. I said, you'll mark our big tent in there, definitely. Um, so, anyway, are there any other slight work? Nothing new. Really. I mean, the downtown commission, as we know, is no longer but the, but all the same people are on the. In, in the new organization. And so, and Heather comes next to the next meeting to right. talk about what the Congress is there. She, did she not? And then we'll go to the downtown board and I think they're really you know, late, late, late January, something like that, whenever they meet. Okay. Um, I, apparently, they don't meet. Exactly. Funny. Yeah. So, we're going to January. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Is that about choking him up? Yeah, um, question. I think it's one of his. Uh, new business. Well, new business would be so. Just we need to figure out dedication and a cover photo on oh. the court. I think we can already. Oh. Yeah, we don't have to talk about the dedication. We think that I don't know about the dedication. I had an idea too. Um, yeah, <laughs> we don't want to talk about that since we surprised, but um, yeah, does it? It doesn't have to be. Um, we try. I think we should do a picture of the the town garage with the, the inside, inside of the town garage. Yeah, yeah. So sort of, this is this is the way it is. Yeah. Okay, so, All right, so Opie, have... you don't want to do a picture. You don't want to do a picture of the sewer and water plant. That's the big project right now. We could we'll do a picture of the lagoon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can do a shot of the lagoon. 
Yeah. All right, so maybe at the next meeting, um, I mean, the cover photo, we don't have to be that that happened to us, maybe, but dedication, maybe we have a second session so we can kind of um, as a surprise to the resident. I'll have one too. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's good. All right. All yeah. All right. 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 What it is to be on the select board with kind of a little uh, job description thing to let people know what it, what is expected of a select board person of a person on a on a commission as a commissioner you know because we have these places like planning commission has an open seat has had an open seat for a while now you know we've done a lot of stuff but there's still a missing person there and we have a lot of new people in town so they may not really know that there are these opportunities to participate in their local well, we'll government. Mm -hmm. I, wonder, yeah. I wonder if that already exists somewhere. I'm sure it'd be LCT, that's what I was wondering. Maybe they have something, maybe, or um, I mean, the other thing is, uh, I think we want to, before we get to that organization, we need to have to come meeting and make those appointments. We need to take a look at whether or not do we are those all all the appointments that we make are they really is functioning are we you know are the people that are in those positions just um just uh taking up space or are they being effective do we really want to just reappoint everybody who says sure i'll do it again even though there isn't really a space we have a seat 15 years yeah a couple of were the trying to change but that's something so yeah, to, to yeah. take a look at it at some point, one of those meetings after we approved, but we kind of we approved the budget right up at that point when we go to print on the annual report. So I'm just I don't need some thoughts. Mm -hmm. well, so I'll just say though that um, putting uh, the descriptions that you're trying to drum up interest in select board and commissions. Um, putting in the annual report is a good idea, but that's definitely playing the long game because when it's right. able to the annual report, it's too late to get a petition in for uh, Well, yeah, so maybe it's uh, some, a page that goes in the printed thing, but it's also something that gets developed fairly soon so that we can fill so, it out with all the electric. Sorry, you know how in the town of Barth there's that list of like town officials select for the people. Are you envisioning that, like for each one of those, there be a few sentences sort of describing what that role is? Is that what you're making? Like, like, yeah, I really yeah. Yeah. like planning commission, development review board, you know what they do, um, yeah. and select board. Um, sure we um, we usually shoot for around 50, and I think last year we were at 44, 45. So, there we have room so for there's drills. There is room, yeah. Do you have to have a, a number divisible by four? Yes, I think it's four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. What is the day? Can you what is the deadline for conditions? <laughs> I can tell you that's that really a comfort function. I think a lot of people are comfort. That's a great idea. That's a We didn't have one. We're going to have one this year. Yeah. We didn't have one in the towns. Okay. It would be a nice transition. Tanya. Tanya has to be open. Tanya. Like our SBK lead. You're going to the board. Yeah, I think so. I understand that the school doesn't want to say that. So so that is no schools or do you have the school needs to be reached at the edge that community that community that 
the determination of the jail and the extent of the We had that over in that discussion. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. It'd be great to have an honest discussion. Yeah. yeah. But it's all, it's all I ask is that you good, honest discussion and you understand and hear me as well as Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that, and I don't, because I don't. Uh, we do also need to make sure, um, I have been finding the heads up that we're planning on putting a bond bill for the gravel pit, and we will need to hold one or two public hearings about that. Um, I don't see them later. So, I think probably in early January, and then I think we have another one within a certain number of days. I'll have to figure out what my head We don't know when we need public yeah. hearings about that. And there is, also going to be really important so that people understand the importance of us getting that given that our gravel is that exciting. Right. Um, what do you right. go? Yeah. To go for the Really? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If there's a little drill studio. Yeah. That's I think. I don't know. I don't know. Well, just a public information that it's on. Yeah, we're looking for sensitive public here. And look through this map yeah. because it looks like a really bad. It is a gravel pit. It showed resources, you know what I'm saying? It, it, so someone, that's what it's, someone like Wiz is going to look at that from a drone's perspective and say, look at that. There's a lot. There's the shade on this that she's going to identify immediately. Yeah. So I would know nothing about gravel pits, will suddenly understand. Thank you, everyone. This is great. Huh?